greetings, YouTube. Names are really important to me. When I meet someone, I ask them which, what name they like to be called. Doesn't matter what's on their license or on their ID card at work. If their name's Robert, they might be like being called Robert, Bob, Bobby, Rob, Robbie, Roberto. And whatever they want, I'll call them that. If their name says Robert and they like to be called Lenny, I'll call him Len Lenny. I used to get, know a guy, his first name was Francis. He went by Skip. He hated Francis, so he went by Skip. I had a boss that preferred his middle name to his first name, so we called him by his middle name. It's what made him happy. To me, that's one of the most basic signs of respect for another human being. Their name. I go by James. I've noticed a whole lot of people um, that, are, that are immigrants to the United States call me Jimmy. And... I stop fighting it. It just kind of makes me smile. But a lot of people call me Jim, and I don't much like Jim. It used to be a name I used for a very long time, but around age 25, I stopped using it, and I went to James. So I've been using it, James, exclusively for like 27 years. And yet there are people in my life that still call me Jim. Now, my parents do it, and I don't think they're going to change, so I don't fight that. My sister does, which annoys me, because my sister legally changed her name. And I stopped using her old name and started using her first name, her new name. Without missing a beat, she asked me to change and I changed. I've asked her to change and she doesn't always call me the correct name. The irony is biting. Her son decided one day that he wanted to go by a different name, so they called him that name for a while. Then he went back to his other name and nobody cared. Now, I do, I will admit that there are times when I have a great difficulty pronouncing some names. I am born and bred in the United States, and I do have a difficult time with the phonetics of some names. I work with a guy whose name is really, first name is really long and complicated, and everybody calls him a nickname. I used to work with a guy named Isaac. That's what he went by. His real name was Naguar, but most Americans couldn't say Naguar, so he went by Isaac. So I called him Isaac. I asked him, I said, do you want me to call you Deguar? I'll call you that. He said, no, nah, it's okay. It's confused people, he said. Okay. And my ex legally changed his name. I had no problem with that. Fine with me. Went to use the new name, and I still do. In my head, that's his name now. The old name sounds weird, or as is often referred to in the transgender community, the dead name which I think is somewhat appropriate. So why am I talking about names? Like I said, it's a sign of respect. It's the bare minimum of respect I give my fellow human beings. It is a way of saying, I recognize your humanity. And even if I don't use that person's name, I still recognize the humanity, but that's on a lower rung. You're getting into the stage where I'm insulting you. Now, I've encountered people here on YouTube, and all of us use nicknames. I go by Tetsubo. It's not my real name. I'm not even saying it right. It's Japanese. It's the way I like to pronounce it, so it's the way I go by. It's my name. And so long as you're not trying to evade legal action, you can assume any name you want to. It's perfectly legal. But if I'm having a conversation with someone and they're particularly dim and being abusive or annoying, I will often call them Einstein as an insult. If they're evading questions in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an exchange, I'll frequently refer to them as Dodger because they're not answering the questions because they don't have an answer. And they don't want to talk about that. They want to redirect it and go in a different direction. They often enjoy building straw men as well. So that when I do that, that's an insult. I'm insulting you. Because I'm not recognizing your name. I'm barely scraping the, the bottom of, of humanity. I can't get any lower without ceasing to recognize your humanity. And I won't do that. To anyone. I recognize the humanity of Stalin, Pol Pot, Hitler, Bundy, 
I recognize all of them as being human, and all of them worthy of human rights and civil liberties. But I'll use their names. So if I give you a nickname that you didn't choose, and I refuse to use your real name, or the name you'd like to be called, that says something. And in parting, all hail the Cheeto in Chief.